गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेलकम टू द फर्स्ट कमोडिटी ऑडियो कास्ट फॉर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू विद मी योर होस्ट एंड गाइड रविंद्र राव फ्रॉम कोटक सिक्योरिटीज आई वुड लाइक टू टेक दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी टू विश यू ऑल हैप्पी सक्सेसफुल एंड पीसफुल टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू वी विश द ईयर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू वुड सी द एंड ऑफ दिस पैंडमिक दैट हैज बॉट सिग्निफिकेंट चेंजेस इन एवरी वंस लाइफ Uh, with the onset of a new year the commodity markets witnessed some wild swings as gold uh, uh, earlier hit a high of dollar 1833 uh, but it retreated uh, to hit a low of dollar 1781 last week a uh, crude continued to add to the solid gains that was seen in 2021 whereas uh, base metals traded mixed with aluminum uh, being the better performer The key events last week were FOMC minutes, U.S. non-farm payroll sprint, and they had diverging impact on the U.S. dollar. However, bond yields witnessed an incessant uh, rise. Fed at its last meeting in December doubled the pace of bond tapering and projected uh, possibility of three rate hikes in 2022. While Fed seems to have become a more hawkish, the tightening outlook largely hangs on uh, how economic growth and inflation situation pans out. Uh, the only worry for commodities, uh, especially the precious metals, is uh, the technical breakout in um, U.S. ten-year bond yields. But still, uh, we have a hope uh, until it is uh, below 1.80 percent. If it sustains above 1.80 percent, then we might see a strong up move. Otherwise, uh, uh, some corrective move is possible. Having said that, um, coming to precious metals um, uh, that have struggled for direction in 2021. has witnessed a disappointing start to the new year as mentioned uh, gold hit a high of 1833 last week the highest level since late november but uh, uh, but moved lower uh, to hit a low of 1781 uh, the lowest since mid december and ended the week with a 1.7% decline while silver plunged 4% precious metals uh, have moved lower uh, amid sharp rise in us bond yields and increased expectation of uh, Fed's monetary tightening FOMC minutes showed that the Fed officials are willing to take aggressive steps in lieu of uh, economic growth and rising inflation. As we entered the year 2022, uh, we knew it would be a challenging year for gold with investor interest low and uh, central banks embarking on monetary tightening. For the week uh, we have um, a couple of important uh, events for um, which might impact precious metals uh, one is uh, fed chair powell testification and uh, the second one is the us inflation print so both will be very very important and till then we expect uh, the price might tr- uh, trade uh, slightly uh, sideways to higher mainly because of uh, uh, mixed non farm payroll data last week but once the data comes out uh, it might give a direction uh, to uh, precious metals especially uh, gold technically uh, technically spot gold has been uh, taking support near uh, 1760 1780 dollars and on the higher side uh, 1836 is a, a strong resistance and it has been trading in this band since long now so uh, a clear direction uh, will be seen only uh, if it breaches this level uh, until then we expect this range to continue and in case of mcx 47300 remains to be the immediate support and uh, below that 46800 is the support uh, similarly on the higher side uh, 48100 remains to be a strong resistance and above that uh, it might move up till 48500 so for the week we expect the price to trade uh, between 47300 to 48100 uh depending on how the data uh, pans out uh, if the data surprises then we might see a directional move in uh, in in uh, gold similarly in case of silver uh, spot silver has been taking support near it is it, uh, it has been not uh, moving below that and on the higher side uh, uh, we have seen uh, prices uh, taking resistance near uh, 2350 24 so uh, that range is expected to continue so on the lower side 22 dollar to 21.50 dollar would act as a stiff support uh, only below that uh, if the price is uh, sustained then we might see a further fall otherwise we expect uh, some kind of a consolidation at this level and to it to trade in uh, between 22 dollars to 23.50 dollars similarly on the mcx uh, we might see uh prices taking support near uh, 60000 to 59500 uh, similarly on the higher side 
61,200 remains to be a imminent resistance. Above that, it might move up till 62,000. Coming to crude oil, uh, crude oil has witnessed a 50% rally last year, making its biggest gain since 2009. Building on the gain, crude oil uh, uh, has gained last week by 5% and tested the highest level since November. The continuing rally shows a strong bullish sentiment. However, challenges are increasing. Supply is said to improve with US and OPEC raising output and with recent supply disruptions uh, seen as temporary in nature. Demand outlook remains a bit but challenged uh, uh, by resurgence in virus cases. The key event last week was OPEC's monetary policy minute, uh, meeting and uh, market players uh, reacted positively to it. As expected, OPEC and uh, allies uh, decided to raise production uh, further by 4 lakh barrels per day for the month of February. OPEC's willingness to raise output shows that it sees limited demand impact uh, from the virus spread. Crude oil has also benefited from supply concerns relating to Libya and Kazakhstan. However, uh, supply situation is improving as per uh, market sources. Overall, uh, crude oil has witnessed a sharp rally reflecting uh, a strong bullish sentiment. However, increasing challenges in the form of uh, rising virus cases and Fed's tightening could make it vulnerable to profit taking. Technically, uh, NYMEX crude oil, uh, NYMEX WTI crude oil is uh, is, is holding near a dollar eighty eighty one. Uh, per barrel uh, and if it sustains above that we might see uh, prices moving higher till 84 dollars uh, similarly on the lower side 76 dollar uh, remains to be a good support so we expect uh, wti crude to trade in this very range of uh, 76 dollars to 80 dollars on the higher side any any break on either side and a close might give a direction in that side uh, similarly in case of mcx 5,000, uh, 5,950, 5,940 remains to be a strong resistance. Above that, we might say go go higher till 6,050, but that is an extreme case. And on the lower side, uh, 5,750 remains to be a strong support. Below that, it might once again fall towards 5,500. So uh, we expect some kind of a consolidation happening. Uh, we might see uh, um, some some selling on the higher side. There is a dark cloud cover formation uh, on the technical charts uh, on daily chart. Uh, and uh, this will be confirmed only below 5,000 uh, if it closes below 5,700. So we need to uh, check for that. If that happens, then we might see some uh, some some corrective move in uh, crude prices. In case of natural gas, uh, the price is uh, trading on on the on on charts. It is trading in a widening uh, widening triangle, and um, uh, the, the it it is it it is again it again moved towards uh, the earlier uh, two highs near 312 314 which was the recent high so now that has become a kind of a triple top and uh, um, if that is taken out we might see uh, we might see uh, natural gas moving higher towards 330 also similarly on the lower side 280 remains to be a good support uh, below that it might uh, further turn weak otherwise we expect a range of 280 to 312 uh, for this week Finally, in case of base metals, um, last week um, almost all the base metals ended in red except aluminium um, uh, with global risk of sentiments ahead of FMC uh, uh, meeting minutes and US labor report. Uh, aluminium jumped nearly 4% higher as uncertainty regarding the coal supply increased after the uh, Indonesian government announced a ban on exports last week to avoid outages at domestic generators. This added to fears of tightness already caused by European gas prices. Aluminium may see increased volatility as uh, pending outcome of Indonesian ban on coal exports may keep markets wary about uh, production of aluminium, which is uh, highly energy sensitive. Technically, aluminium uh, might move higher till 237 provided 228 holes on the lower side. So any dip towards 230, 231 might attract buying. And on the higher side, we expect the prices to go to 237. But if it closes below 228, then we might see a fall towards 224 again. Similarly, in case of other base metals, uh, other base metals are trading in a sideways zone, especially copper is uh, trading in a, uh, in a in a rising channel after a sharp fall. So um, uh, in, in copper, a strong support remains near 728. 
if that is taken out we might see a fall towards 718 719 it looks slightly weaker this week uh, but uh, we need to fe- uh, we need to uh, keep our fingers crossed if it moves above 742 then we might see a sharp upside move also in copper so uh, need to wait for uh, this uh, break either on the higher side above 742 or on the lower side uh, below 728 uh, so uh, to conclude a uh, key events for the week includes a uh, fed chair powell testimony which might give further gu- uh, guidance on the fed stance the all important inflation data from us and china might give further direction to us dollar and bond deals uh, thereby impacting commodities that's all from this edition good luck and trade safe